हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद शाहिद अंसारी फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स वेलकम टू द बेसिक्स जावा सेशन वन इन दिस सेशन द टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड आर फर्स्ट व्हाट इज जावा एंड इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सेकंड वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट अ प्रोजेक्ट इन द नेट बीन्स थर्ड क्रिएटिंग अ जावा मेन क्लास फाइल इन नेट बीन्स This Java main class file is used to write a Java code in NetBeans, and we will see the sample code which is used to print the Hello World in Java. What is Java? First of all, we all know the Java is your one of the programming language. Like C, C plus plus, Python, we have a different type of languages. In the same way. we have a java language along with the java language java is also a platform right what do you mean by platform here uh, platform means any hardware or software environment in which a program runs that means java also provide a hardware or software environment where we can develop we can deploy the program the 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 runtime environment or the platform provided by the java is called as runtime environment jre java runtime environment it has all the apis that are used for executing the java program now java is your high level language all the programming language all the languages are categorized into two types in two types first is your low level language and second is your high level language so java belongs to the high level programming language java is your robust robust language then java is your object oriented programming language and java is your secure programming language now Java was developed by Sun Microsystem initially the inventor of the Java language is your Sun Microsystem but in so after some period of time it is uh, which is now the subsidiary of the Oracle in the year of 1995 in the year of 1995 the Oracle Oracle uh, hires the uh, Sun Microsystem and now the Java comes under the Oracle J James Gosling is known as the father of the Java. He he was the inventor of the Java programming language. Now we will see the characteristics of the Java. There are n number of characteristics of Java. These are the sum of the characteristics that we will see in this session. First, Java is your simple language. Second, object oriented language. Java is a portable language, platform independent language, secured language, robust language. Architectural neutral language, multi-threaded language, and distributed language. These are the features and characteristics of the Java. Now we will see one by one in detail. Now, first is your Java is your simple language. Why Java is your simple language? Because its syntax and semantics are very simple. Java follows a standard syntax and semantics of the programming. It is very easy and clean. and under easily understood by everyone the syntax of the java is more or less similar to the c++ most of the concepts are derived from the c++ language now second java is your object oriented programming language we all know about object oriented right in object oriented concept we are dealing with the classes and objects in java the object oriented programming is must required all the things in java are encapsulated in class even if i want to print a hello world we require minimum require a one class that means a system will create a object for that class therefore java is your object oriented language now third java is your platform independent language what 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 do you mean by platform independent platform independent means that 
Java code can be run on different platform. Java code can be run on Windows application, Windows operating system. It can be executed on Linux operating system. Therefore, Java uh, follows one statement: write once, run anyway. Java is your write once. That means you only write once the Java code using any platform. You can execute that code on any platform. That means it is a platform independent. Java is your secure. The security manager of Java is your very strong. Java uh, Java application can run virus free system. Java is your be best known for its security. Java uh, Java does not support the garbage values. Ja Java does not support the pointers. Therefore, Java is your secure language. Robust. The English meaning of the robust strong Java is your strong language. There is a no entry and exit point without the permission of the Java. That means nobody is enter into the Java system, and there is a no exit point available in the Java. Therefore, Java is your robust application. Architectural neutral. Java is your architectural neutral. Why? Because there are no implementation depend feature. For example, the size of the primitive type is fixed. In Java, uh, we have a before Java we have a language called as C or C plus plus. When we will see the the type data type available in C language or C plus plus language, so we have a data type called as integer, and we have a float. The size of the integer is of two byte, and the size of the float in C or C plus is of four bytes, but in Java, right, the there is a no uh, there is a no uh, implementation is does not depend on any feature of the uh, implementation. That means the size of the type is fixed. In Java, the integer data type size is four byte instead of two bytes. That means it does not depend on architecture. It uh, it, it has a fixed value. Now, Java is your multi-threaded. What do you mean by thread? First of all, we will understand what is a definition of thread. Thread are th thread are threads are a lightweight process. Thread is your lightweight process. Threads are used for executing the task. But there is a one difference between thread and and process. Thread can execute. Concurrently, simultaneously, thread has the ability to execute. It is possible. It is possible to execute multiple threads in Java. Therefore, the the Java is your multi-threaded and distributed. That means it is possible in Java. We can develop an application. We can develop a, a code which is uh, which is used to uh, to access the network functionality. That means the that means the application. That is developed by using the Java. That is uh, that that uh, using in Java language is your distributed. It can it can be executed on any network. RMI is one of the very famous technology which is used to develop a distributed application in Java. Okay, now we will move to the NetBeans. This is your NetBeans uh, IDE eight point eight point two. The NetBeans IDE E is especially designed for Java programming language to write a code to execute the Java program. Right, NetBean IDE is used. In NetBean, uh, in NetBean, the first step is to create a project. So, to create a project, just go to the file, new project, and here we in, in the left side we have a different type of project that is available in NetBean. Since we are dealing with the basic Java, therefore we will go for the first option that is your Java. In Java, on the right side we have to select Java application. This is for developing a desktop or a simple application in Java. Click on Next. Now, just uh, enter the name for your project. The project name is any valid name. Okay, now. Uh, I am typing the name as soft core 
academy and then it will click on finish so now this will create a project called as soft core academy and in that project netbeans will create a file called as soft core academy dot java we will see this project in the project tab suppose uh, we, we we are not able to find this project tab suppose we miss this now where we have to search this project tab just go to the window there is the option called as project click on it your project tab will appear so here we have a soft core academy project within that we we just created a project that is your soft core academy but by default netbeans has created a package source within source package we have a package called as source uh, soft core academy package within this package we have a file soft core academy so this this, this this package and file is created by the netbeans suppose you want to create your own package or you want to create your own java java class then in this case just go to the source package right click on it new java class or java main class either you can select an either option now if you are not finding the java main class or java class in this list just go to the other in other we have a java in java there is a class called as java main class so this is used to write a java coding in netbeans just click on next here we, we will give the name to the class this is your class name so now i am giving a hello world this is my name of class the the package name jo hai it is an option package name is an option but there is a warning given it is highly recommended that you do not place java class in the default package suppose you are not giving a package name so java netbeans will create a default package and put their their class in that package so it is better not compulsory it is better to uh, to enter a uh, some valid package name in this so now i am giving a package name my package this is my package name and click on finish after clicking on finish you will get the same file that is created by the netbeans for us while we are creating an application the same file same code is here so now just just close it now just remove this comments these are all the comments just remove the all the comments and see we have a project in the project we have a soft core academic project in the soft core academic project source within source package we have our package my package within that we have a hello world hello world dot java file always remember all the java files has the extension dot java now this is your sample code this is your sample code generated by the netbeans so now we will first understand this code i am just uh, aligning the code so we have a class uh, this package this th this line indicates we have a package called as my package within my package there is a class called as hello world as you can see in the project tab see we have a my package within my package we have a class called as hello world therefore this line has to be written at the top now this is the class in java everything is uh, is is a class and object without without class without class in java it is not possible to write a single line of code we have to first create a class now public is an optional it is by default created by the java if you don't want you can just remove it public is an optional uh, part of the class now this is an entry point of your program execution that means when the java compiler or java interpreter executes your program it will first search the entry point of the program execution in java every language in c we have a void main in c++ we have a void main that is your entry point of c and c++ language in the same way in java we have a entry point called as public static void main this is your entry point of the program execution when the when the interpreter executes the program 
it will first search the entry point of your program execution this is your void main main is a method name void is your return type static and public they are the access modifier these are the access modifier that is that are used to to write the main method in java now i want to display a hello on the console or on the output so which line is used to display the text on on console in java we have a class called as system dot out dot print ln and within double quotes i am writing hello world so this is the line and semicolon this is the line which is used to display any message any text any string on the output screen hello world is your text acha what is system system is a class out system class has a three object we have a three object you just see we have a system dot we have a control space bar just control space bar we have a three object see system class has three objects first out for output in for input and err is used for displaying or uh, uh, handling any error so now since i want to display a message i want to display a text on the console therefore i am using out object and print ln print ln is a method or a function right which is which is uh, which is available in the system class what is the job of the print ln this method this function is used to print the text string on the console so this is a sample code right which is used to display a hello world in java now we will execute this the, the execution in netbeans is very easy and very simple just save it control s just save it and right click on the anywhere right click on this window there is a option called as run file we have a run file that just click on it it will it will start the execution of the program software and display the output hello world so in this way we can display a hello world in java thank you so much i hope you understood this session thank you so much